The World Bank is working with the government and partners to strengthen financial resilience against disasters. And Laos listed organically farmed produced as a potential export to regional market when the ASEAN Economic Community comes into being in 2015, according to the National Export Strategy for 2011 to 2015. The government will encourage farmers to grow chemical-free crops for export amid a surge in demand for organically grown fruit and vegetable in regional and world markets. Laos has huge potential for organic agriculture due to its abundant water supplies and fertile land, which enabled farmers to grow crops without having to resort to the use of chemical fertilizers, according to official who drafted their strategy. On average, only 2 kilogram of chemical fertilizers are used per hectare, and in many remote areas, chemicals are not used at all. Compared to neighboring countries, Laos showed great potential and there is no doubt that opportunities exist for the development of organic agriculture. Currently, organic crops are grown in several areas such as Hum Sang Tong rice, Gai Noi rice, vegetable and fruit, as well as Ban Katua coffee in Bak Song district, Champasat province. Coffee is also grown in Lao Ngam district, Salavan province, and fingernail beans in Tateng District, Sekong Province, but Laos has a number of challenges to overcome if the export of chemical-free crops is to be viable. Policymakers said Laos needs to set a common standard for organic products, whether for local consumption, for sale to the market in major towns, or for wholesale markets such as restaurants and hotels, as well as for exports. It is also necessary to create a farmer's network along with quality control, standardized packaging, warehouses, and setting of prices based on grades of quality. A special logo is also required as a form of guarantee that is highly accepted by domestic and foreign consumers. Laos need to allocate specific markets for organic agricultural products in provincial area, starting as a pilot activity in the suburb of Vientiane. In addition, the Lao Promotion Organic Product Association's network with foreign sales agents must be expanded through exhibitions, seminars, and field trips to organic market gardens, and product must be widely advertised. Market gardens could also be designated as tourist attractions and used as training center for young people about ecosystem balance and management. More research into the field is needed if Laos is to ensure that organic crop production is sustainable.